Hello everybody, Donkey here, and yes, we are back with some more Train Sim 2021. And this time we are on our final scenario for the Class 205. And uh, this is a... It's quite a difficult one, but it's also quite an enjoyable one at, the, uh, at that. Now, the scenario, um, we're at Brighton here, where and we're going to be basically going non-stop to East Croydon and we've got a few things there a few platforms to stop at uh, but this scenario is called London Victoria London Bridge um, so a little bit of back story behind this scenario before we get started so yeah this scenario is all about the rail tour that took place in 2004 for the, the 205 um, in 2004 um, they had a rail tour that was organized for the 205 um, because it was you know due to withdrawal from British Rail um, and to honor its 40 plus years of service they had a rail tour now the rail tour was consisted of uh, three DEMMUs which is what we have here the 205 um, so the three locos that made this long train up were 205009 which we have at the front um, 205001 which is in the middle and 205033 which is at the end and uh, this this whole train was dubbed the last thump which um, which was sort of like it's it's sort of tall name for this logo um, and this is if you're wondering this is an expansion for the London to Brighton line, you can pick up the 205 on the Steam Marketplace for the London to Brighton line. And uh, yeah, so this scenario is a yellow scenario and it is 50 minutes long. Now we need to jump in here and we need to load passengers. So let's get that going. And uh, we've got a few things that we can do here. So let's uh, first, let's get some lights and stuff on. There we go. Now, if we press F1, we can see in the top here um, that we've got a few stations. The head code being used for this rail tour is 64. So we can set that in here. If we open this up and we can wind these. So I believe six is down. Five, six. Oh, we might have to put, uh, we have to put four here. So let's quickly do that. We are, we're supposed to be departing now, but it's not going to be too much of an issue. Oh, there's four. Now, what you do is you line that up. Oh, that's the guard telling us he's all good. We'll give him the signal in a sec. But what you do is you line up that there, like that. And if we take a look out front, 64. There we go. Very good. Okay. There's also, um, we can use the CSR which if we have a look, this is it here, down here. This is the CSR. And basically the CSR is basically cab secure radio. And uh, all it does is open up a a, uh, a radio um, to the driver and the signalman. Um, other train drivers won't be able to hear the conversation that they have. And basically it just allows the, the signalman to signal different trains um, and it looks like we are on area 71. So let's turn this on. As you can hear, radio lost. Well, we haven't put in an area code yet. We can test it. So if we go CSR test, we'll test. It will basically just test fail. Oh, we need to um, we need to put in a, a thing first. We can lamp test. You know, if we do this in a sec, wait for this to clear. I think we can clear it ourselves, clear it all. Let's just turn it back on. So area not set. So before we do anything, we're gonna lamp test. So as you can see, we can turn the lamps on check if they're all working we can set the area code up here 
because we are 71 and we can just push that and now that is going to connect us to the signalman um, so we were just waiting for him to send us a signal back basically to say that we're on the uh, we're on the radio there we go and we can do the test now if we go here uh, test basically what that's going to do is going to send him a signal and he should be able to send us something back yeah so okay and yeah that's basically it for that um, what that's going to allow the signalman to do is contact us directly about certain signals so we have got a green we can go now as you can see we're in Brighton station and we have a long train a very long train so uh, what we want to do is put this to forward has it gone in no oh, we, we haven't got the master key on at the moment there we go we'll just signal the guard let him know we are ready to go and we'll put this into notch seven Here we go we've got power and we'll start getting moving look at this thing now this it currently is the electric side if we press three here will be the diesel side here so as you can see by the exhaust we are currently in the EMU side we are going a bit fast hold on slow it down but yeah look at the length of this train this is consistent of three trains so like I said before there's one here one there and one at the back and this was a, a special tour that took place in 2004 to sort of honor the um, sort of withdrawal of the class 205 they had a they had a, a rail tour booked on green signal we'll just toot this guy as we go past and yeah so it is quite a, uh, a nice loco this one um, the three scenarios you get are really nice I, I did enjoy the other two and I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy this one as well um, I would have liked there to have been more more you know made scenarios uh, but you can always play you know this loco on your own or on the uh, quick drive or whatever um, and I do like the inclusion of the CSR down here um, also you can uh, if I you know you've got the head box which is great but you can also oh, we can't do it while we're moving but you can also see the battery isolator which is underneath the loco so if you're doing a cold start you can actually you know turn that on and there's actually a lot of things you can do in this loco see the engine starts over here the fuse box over there yeah there's so many things you can do but we're on our way to three bridges station 20 miles so we're picking up a bit of speed now and I mean I just love the look of this thing I think it just looks amazing especially when you get down low like this look at that such a great great loco but yeah if you're wishing to play any of the 205 scenarios that we've covered on the channel uh, if you haven't seen any of those videos they're all in a, in a train sim playlist so go check them out uh, we've done the other two scenarios but um, if you're wishing to actually play the 205 um, and the scenarios what you're going to need is you're going to need the London to Brighton route for train sim 2021 um, I had a few people a bit confused about it um, but yeah, you basically on Train Sim 2021, um, you need the London to Brighton route, 
and then you're going to need to buy the 205 expansion for the route. Um, it's all on the Steam Marketplace and you'll be able to find them. Um, and I picked them all up on a sale. Literally, I think this expansion was £3 or something like that. Which is, it's like a pound a scenario. <laughs> and I've fully enjoyed it. I've fully definitely got my money's worth out of out of it. I definitely think it is worth picking up multiple on a sale, if you can. And uh, yeah, I fully enjoyed the 205 here. Uh, it's going to be a shame that there's no more scenarios involving it. Um, because that's all I really do on this game, is I just play the, the scenarios. I don't really go into a quick drive or anything. Um, just because I like the fact that there's a little story behind them and they give you things to do in the scenarios but we've got about 14 miles to go um, I will probably rejoin you closer to there or if something interesting happens down here I will basically rejoin you but uh, we'll probably skip a lot of this out as it is a direct sort of um, route I mean we're going via three bridges um, and we're going straight to East Croydon. So, yeah, I'll probably, probably join you when we're a bit closer to Three Bridges or something. Okay, so we're about three miles, or three and a half miles away from Three Bridges. We are going through Three Bridges, we're not actually stopping there, we're going via. Um, but we're close to there anyway. Nothing really has happened. Um, there's been no signals or anything, or it's just been a chill, chilled uh, journey at about 70 miles an hour. Um, this is pretty much the maximum for this this loco is 70 75 um, miles per hour if that had less coaches it would probably do about 75 but uh at the moment we're we're holding a seven uh, a steady 71 but no it's been quite a peaceful journey not sure if oh, we've got a is that a yellow no nope, we've got a green I don't think we're switching tracks no we're not that's the uh, that's where we took last time in the last scenario 
um, that we did we went down onto that track and that went down to sort of Red Hill and to uh, to the stage and to um, Selhurst Depot in that in that video we we did if you haven't seen that one go check it out it's up on the channel right now we'll give this guy a two and yeah so we're almost at three bridges just going through there I'm not sure if anything's gonna stand out as we go past here sort of if we encounter any lights or anything I'm not sure I haven't played this scenario at all so basically I'm I'm in it <laughs> same as you things loading in I heard a beep yeah, so our area's changed to 65 we're in a different area of those things Obviously, the London to Brighton line is a vast line, and not every area is going to be controlled by the same signal um, station, like the signal uh, outpost. So there's different different areas. At the moment, we've been put into area 65. I'm not quite sure the, of the different areas. It's changed as that was what that beep was. Again, not too sure if anything like a signalman speaking to us or anything is is uh, implemented into this game. Probably not. But I, I was wondering what would happen if uh, we did encounter. Oh, what's that? Is that double yellow? Yeah, we might be encountering. So we've we've gone through three bridges now and it seems that we're encountering a yellow so I think I've mentioned it before but the signals give you a pre-warning um, before stopping it doesn't just instantly you know have a red so what it will be is a uh, this double yellow signal the next signal will then be a single yellow and the signal after that will be red so it gives you like a buffer to stop if this next signal now was double yellow we could continue because the next signal after that would end up being either double yellow green or a single but I can see down there at the moment it is a double yellow uh, it is a single yellow and then a red so we do need to come to a stop um, we don't need to come to a complete stop just yet, but we do need to get it down from 70 mile an hour. We'll just roll into here at 30. Because you never know, this signal might just change. The signal guy hasn't given us any, any notification. What you saw come up here is the AWS, I'll let it ring. That way ski just, it's um, acknowledgement warning system. If the driver didn't acknowledge that it's been tripped, say maybe the driver fell asleep at his post, or for some unknown reason he was he was incapacitated or something at the, at the train's wheel, or, or controls, um, and the AWS went off. If it wasn't pressed, it would basically en uh, enable the emergency brake on the train, so the train would come to a stop, and then they could do some investigation onto that. Uh, it's there to just stop an accident, basically. Uh, but if you're alert and you're awake or whatever, the driver can press the button and acknowledge that he's he's seen the yellow and he he knows that he's coming to a stop. So we're coming to a stop here. This 
at this station. Now we're not picking anybody up from here. You don't want to really cross these uh, signals because it will end the mission. And it would be a good point to save here. Now when we're stopped here we can do... We can acknowledge standing at signal. At signal. And we'll save it as well. And that's sort of... Um, so he's saying wait. So we've basically said to the signal guy or whatever, the computer, that uh, we're at the signal and we're standing and uh, they've sent the message back, wait. If this turns green, I'm not sure if it'll turn or anything, but um, we'll see. If I didn't do that, they may not know that I'm here. Um, they probably would, you know, massive camera network these days and... and um, they, they pretty much know where every train is, but as this is an old train, they might not know. So, um, clear all, call, you can try call, I guess. I'm not too sure. Stop, acknowledge. We'll just clear. Not too sure on that one. We got double yellow though, so we can proceed. It still says wait. Not too sure. Clear. Ah, that's the clear. So I don't know what that is. Clear all. Oh, clear call. Ah, so that's if you call them. But we only want the acknowledgement. What that also does is it allows the signal um, box to know, or the, or the signal facility, or HQ or whatever you'd call it. It allows them to know that the driver is, you know, he's awake and alert. If if the train AWS went off and it stopped and he didn't pick up the phone or anything or acknowledge and they were calling him and he didn't pick up, they'd they'd probably think, yeah, something's happened to the driver, so they'd probably send somebody out at that point. Um, but if he was on the telephone and they were like, why have you come to a stop? And he was like, something's gone wrong with the, uh, with the train. You know, they'd probably send somebody out to fix it or, or tow it away. But it, it's just that communication. Because if you're running, I mean, nowadays they have, uh, they have basically the same thing, but it'll be digital. This is an analog system. Um, but it's basically just like a, a two-way radio almost and just allows that communication so it's a uh, it's a lot safer it's rather than just the AWS taking over and stopping the train they can actually you know talk to the driver see what's going on so I mean back in the uh, the 50s when this thing would have been operating, that would have been an absolute lifesaver. Before then, it would have just been complete blind in the dark. Because, um, I mean, it would have been steam trains. and Or steam locomotives. And if a steam locomotive broke down in a tunnel or something, there wouldn't have been any way to contact somebody outside that there was a train there. So another one would have come along... And probably gone in. And a lot of steam locomotives had accidents because of that reason. Because that they couldn't speak to anyone. 
to, to basically tell them that look, we've we've broken down or something's happened. Um, it would literally be up to the driver to notice something like that in the distance and start braking. Sometimes they would send somebody out um, with a flag down the track to warn other trains. Um, but, you know, in the heat of the moment, sometimes that's not, not the first thing you're thinking about. And, I mean, a lot of train accidents did happen throughout history. There's a, f there's a few famous ones in this country, definitely in England. Um, but, when, you know, when radio came along, that would have been an absolute lifesaver. Same with the AWS. That would have been an absolute lifesaver. Okay, so we're about five miles from East Croydon. And, uh... I'm not sure if there's any more to this scenario. I don't think there would be. Um, but it has been quite an enjoyable one. Um, just having this historical sort of scenario, this historical moment of this, this rail tour that happened um, is quite nice. And I mean, it's, yeah, it's it's been sad at 70 plus, you know, just down a straight track with no stops but yeah it's been enjoyable I generally do like the 205 in this game and uh, it is quite an enjoyable little expansion if you're looking for something more to do on the London to Brighton line this is this is definitely worth getting in a sale if you can uh, I would give it a go I've, uh, I've fully enjoyed my time with it we're just coming downhill. That's why we're getting about 60, uh, uh, 79 miles an hour. It's coming down now, but. I haven't seen any uh, signals pop up yet, so. How far are we? Three mile. We are dropping down to a 60, so we'll give her a little bit of break. speed change that's coming up which is fine we are 100% coming down to that speed still got green lights all the way and there's East Croydon that's where we're stopping that station I'm just gonna see what this braking 14% does if it'll get us all the way down the speed that we need. We'll need to be dropping to about 40 mile an hour before we uh, before we think about actually entering the station. We want to be entering about 20 mile an hour, really. stone chips on the window. That was basically clean when we left the station in Brighton. This goes to show, you know, this has got such a flat face on the front of it that or any sort of stones or anything that flick up off the track just instantly hits the glass. In a lot of cases they didn't bother, you know, changing the glass in these. There was just no point, really. Right, we're 
coming down. We are stopping here. So we need to really put the brake on. okay if we overshoot though. It's quite a long train. Oh, I think it we're just we just overshot, but that's okay. Not by much. And uh, we can load passengers. There we go. So I think that is the end of the scenario. Um, I don't think there's much more. But uh, I've fully enjoyed this 205, to be honest, throughout all three scenarios. Um, if you haven't seen the other videos or the other scenarios, go check them out on the channel. They are up there. Um, if you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy them even more. And yeah, if you are a new subscriber, please go down the bottom and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. So yeah, that was the 205, Class 205, Network Southeast livery on the London to Brighton line. It is an expansion for it. And uh, this was the last thumb, the, uh, the rail tour that took place in 2004. Excellent work you've done for now. The rail tour will now reverse and head back down this evening well that was it all right so yeah thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one bye bye